my first first time taking off uh, an aircraft. Obviously, had there has to be an instructor sitting next to you. So the instructor was very encouraging and he took off the aircraft. Of course, it's my first flight. And once we took off in the air, they would have to teach you what the controls are, how the aircraft works, uh, diving, climbing, turns, and of course, setting the powers to a certain uh, requirements. So we did that for about two and a half hours. We came back down and uh, my next appointment was the next day. So the next day was, I was supposed to be prepared to take controls, but which they don't tell you right then and then because you have to take off and feel that you're confident you're up in the air. And that wasn't a problem with me since I've been flying since I was at the age of nine. We always been traveling with my parents. So we took off. He noticed that I was okay with heights. And then he asked me to take controls. And then I was like, am I ready really to fly this aircraft? So he goes like, yeah, you have to take controls. Eventually you have to start flying. So I took the controls and uh, after a few seconds, I'm like, okay, I think Captain, you need to take control. So he took control. He asked me what the problem was. I'm like, are we safe if I take control again? <laughs> and I said, you'll be fine. I've shown you what to do. You'll be fine. I'm right next to you. So he gave me back the controls. I started turning the aircraft left and right. And I felt like, okay, there was nothing to it. <laughs> so I did do the takeoff, uh, the turns left and right, descents and climbs, set the par as he said, and we went back for landing. On my third flight was the day that I really had to start taking off, read my books. And I did that with my instructor. 15 hours later, not within a day, but 15 hours, consecutive hours, was my solo time. And it was pretty scary not having someone sitting next to you to correct you. But then once you have that confidence and you know that you are capable of doing it, the sky's the limit. So I said, why not? So he took me up, came back down, said, came out of the cockpit and he said, okay, it's your flight now. So we, I took the aircraft to the runway, took it off, did a circuit. The circuit is one you do, there is the runway, you circle the runway and you come back and land. So I did that. Once I landed, I didn't know what to say to myself. I'm like, I am capable of doing anything. And this job it's not a job anymore. It's something that I would I have always wanted to do. So it became like, I'm not working. I wake up in the morning and say, this is not a job. It's just my hobby. So yeah, it gives the best, best thing ever happened to me. Once I landed after my solo, uh, you have to take the aircraft back to the hangar and you come out of the, the aircrafts or the cockpits and you have either your instructor, my, this time it was my instructor and two of my friends with a bucket of ice water because it was snowing at that time and poured it all over me. And uh, you finalized that that was your solo flight. 